Aloha folks, how is it going? It's Unhost here. Hope you guys are doing well. It's time for 120 changes in 1.6. Let's go! Horses, donkeys, horse armor, hay blocks, leads, and carpet were all added to the game. The longer that you spin in one area, the harder it gets. A respiration helmet now helps you see underwater. Hardened clay was added to the game. And this is how you make it. Ding! And this is how you color it. There's now extra tooltip information in the creative mode inventory. Water no longer generates in deserts. There's a small chance that a zombie will spawn another zombie if you hit them. Blocks of coal were added to the game. We can now find chests and other fortresses. Redstone comparators will now give output signals with cauldrons and in portal frames. You can right click a chest on a tame donkey and it'll act as a storage device. You can access any horse's inventory by pressing shift and right click where you can put a saddle on them as well as armor. Charcoal and the lapis lazuli block were retextured. The client window now uses a crafting table icon instead of the dirt block icon. RIP dirt block. There is a new attribute system which affect things like damage and potions. These can easily be seen by scrolling over the items themselves. Villagers were given sounds as well as horses. Yeah, there is a new spread players command which will spread out a variety of players throughout a server. Also a new game rule for health regeneration which is slash game rule, natural regeneration. All instant health pots were nerfed by 33% and all the actual regeneration potions were nerfed by 50%. Golden apples were also nerfed to now need 8 ingots instead of nuggets, as well as glistering melons which no longer just need 1 nugget but instead 8. Now when you eat a golden apple it will give you the new health boost effect which will give you a couple extra hearts. Zombies were also given a buff in that they can track you for much further than 30 two blocks away. Texture pack support is no longer in the game, but was replaced by resource packs. You can now completely freeze your sunrises or sunsets by doing slash game rule do daylight cycle. Spawn eggs will now work on individual water blocks. Carpet was given the ability to stack on any type of block as well as itself. In creative mode, you're no longer able to break blocks with a sword. Mobs named Grum or Dinnerbone are gonna flip upside down. That's about 120, right? Well, fortunately enough for us, most of the changes were bug fixes. There's a huge list that I can link you guys down in the description if you guys want to check it out. There was literally about 350 to 400 bug fixes this patch, so, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy it. Almost 120 changes at 1.6. You guys have a good one. Take care. Adios. <laughs>